Welcome to Fitch Painting Repairs Garage. Today's project, continuing on this 2002 Suzuki uh, TL1000R. Uh, we had a no start issue on it, and last video we thought we had it kind of figured out with the hydraulic um, with the hydraulic clutch being the problem, um, thinking that possibly it was a hydraulic operated switch that operated the clutch override switch safety switch but and going through it and bleeding the system out because the, the reservoir was definitely contaminated with water um, and it had some debris paint or black particles in it or something so uh, we flushed out that system got the slave cylinder um, all flushed out and working and everything's good on that uh, started going through uh, once we got that done did a key on hit the button and again nothing so we started digging into it and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, pulled the switches, you know, the wiring and doing continuity and voltage tests and all that stuff. And all the switches are good. So the clutch switch is good. The starter button is good. Get great contact, you know, continuity. Everything's good. I've got uh, voltage coming um, into the connector where the start button goes down. Um, but it's intermittent. So doing a wire wiggle test after having gone through and tested all the ignition system components, you know, the kill switches, you know, side stand switch, the run stop switch, the start button, the relay on the starter, the starter, um, the clutch switch, you know, and all that and the ignition. And so, you know, we went through all that stuff and um, we would get, sometimes it would bump the start button and sometimes it wouldn't so what we did is we started taking the entire bike apart so that we can get to the wiring harness on this machine and what we found is you know I did some research online um, and this front front side fairing over here this front left fairing there's this wire bundle up in here and what I found was somebody's been in here these you know kind of connectors this somebody has cut out the quick connector for the turn signals and done one of those shaved turn signal kits you know they wire up with using you know the wrong product so uh, but anyway so this is the wire bundle right here that controls the start stop button and uh, the starter the, the run stop switch and the starter button and basically using what is called the wiggle test and basically you key on hit the button and you're holding the button and you start wiggling the wires so when I wiggle this particular bundle right here I have intermittent power to the start button so what that tells me is somebody's been in here and how I know that is this wire bundle is now taped off and wrapped with electrical tape it doesn't have heat shrink on it or anything like that so you know so that kind of made me stop real quick and I wanted to go back through the bike real quick and do a couple verification things and what I done was I started looking at all the connectors I started looking at all the bolts and all the motor mount bolts and all that stuff and I think the motors been off the frame bare minimum the front fairing has been completely apart all the body panels have been pulled apart and um, some work has been done to the bike so probably what has happened is we've got either uh, corrosion in the wire and we've got really high resistance in the wire and when you wiggle it it kind of gets a little better connection or possibly the wires are broken or the uh, the insulation on the wire is chafed and uh, it could be shortened out. Now I'm not seeing evidence of a short in the system. I'm not getting any blown fuses. I'm not seeing any heat. Uh, I'm not smelling any smoke. Um, I lost my train of thought there for a second. But anyway, so. I think what it is is we just got some bad wires or the connectors itself the plastic plug uh, inside the pins aren't connecting properly and you wiggle them and then they're, they're connecting and it starts so 
basically what I'm looking at having to do to this particular bike right now is the wire bundle runs up in behind the instrument gauge on the front fairing. We're going to end up having to pull the front fairing on the bike to get to that wiring harness. I'm going to have to get all that electrical tape off of there and go through each individual wire and see where the problem is. And there's only two wires that come off of the start button. So we'll start there because I kind of have a feeling that that's the problem. So, um, you know, because I definitely got voltage to it, uh, you know, wiggle the wires, and then all of a sudden I got nothing. So, but uh, that's what we think. So, um, we're going to go through that and do that. Now, I also looked over the bike. Um, the customer had stated that the, after riding the bike, uh, riding it hard, he would notice a bit of oil seepage coming down uh, from the lower fairing on the left side of the bike. And uh, I, you know, had to pull the fairing, I had to pull the body panels off to get to all the electrical connectors <laughs> hidden underneath, you know, to do this ignition stuff. So I did a quick look at uh, all the um, covers and housings and all that. And the stator cover has been pulled off. The clutch cover has been pulled off. Um, and what I found was all of the bolts uh, both of those covers were somewhat loose, not completely torqued down properly. Some of them were were pretty loose so i think what we have was a little bit of oil seepage just from that alone so uh, we torqued it down properly cleaned up everything got all the oil off the bottom of the motor and once we get this ignition system you know starting system not ignition system but the starting system sorry i keep calling it the ignition system they're two separate systems there starting system and the ignition system are different but this, I believe, problem is in the starting system directly related to the wire bundle that controls the start button or the right hand grip electrical housing. And that's what this connector is right here. This one right here. This one runs over. If you follow the wires, runs over to the switch housing on the other side. And what we've got is the switch housing is all pulled apart right now. Yeah, we got the breaker, uh, the you know, fuse panel right here we got the button all out you know so this is the starter button we got it pulled out of the switch housing you know and we're checking everything's good I got you know good readings on all that stuff but the wiring harness now you see here this wiring harness is in its factory covering but it has been cut up to here and rewrapped with some electrical tape so, <clears throat> what that tells me is somebody's been in there. Somebody opened that electrical connector up. And so we're going to have to pull that instrument gauge over there. I don't know if you can see. We're going to have to pull the instrument gauge and the fairing and get up in there to that wiring bundle. And, um, and then, most likely, we're going to go ahead and fix this. And we'll put a quick connect setup back in this so you can unplug these and pull them off. And that way you ain't got to worry about these hanging and falling down and getting all up in your way when you're working on the bike. So that's where we're at. Stay tuned.